Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Let's call the whole thing off. As a translator, I sometimes feel like a bit of a cheat because I grew up bilingual in the languages that I translate. Um, I didn't have to go through the hard work of learning a language to a sufficiently high standard that I can translate complex and demanding texts. And I have really, I really admire those people who did do that. And I, I envy them also. And at the same time, of course, I feel very privileged to have gained admittance to more than one language world as a child, because every language expresses a different way of thinking and knowing. And when you translate, you're moving between two different sides in that way. The, the meaning of the word translate, if you go back to the Latin, is to carry across and the German word übersetzen can also be used to refer to, you know, ferrying over to the other side. And, of course, when you make that crossing, it's not just you, because you're carrying a cargo. Your cargo is the, the meaning, the essence of the text. And, firstly, the the body of water or whatever that you're crossing will be different for each journey. If you cross over from English to German, then you're navigating a different sea than if you translate from Chinese to Arabic. And each time the the regions will be, you know, more or less compatible in terms of their hospitability to your cargo. So if you're bringing some lush Mediterranean fruits to an Arctic environment, then you're going to need some kind of artificial setup to keep them alive, some kind of well insulated greenhouse. And the same can be said if you're translating German philosophy into Japanese. Uh, people who have done that have had to really build up an entire infrastructure of meaning because a shared history of thought was largely absent. And of course, if you deal with your cargo in the wrong way, then it's not going to arrive in good shape. The same way that if you're transporting, I don't know, live animals in boxes and you don't make any air holes, they're going to be dead when you get to the other side. Um, so that would be the equivalent of someone going about translation the wrong way and ending up with a product that is worthless. <laughs>